Well, recently we found out Daredevil could be heading our way in January of 2025. And although that wasn't the greatest news in the world, that's a long wait. We did also get a plot synopsis, and wow, does it reveal some very interesting details. Let's dive into the Daredevil board again plot synopsis and talk a little bit about how this definitely gives us some clues on how it ties to the Netflix series. Well, the other day, we finally got a little bit of news on Daredevil Born Again. As you know, everything's been full stop due to the strikes, and with the writer strike wrapping up, some of the news has started to trickle out again. Now, a whole slew of information got leaked via the U.S. Copyright Office, and not only did this give us some insight into the release date of Daredevil Born Again, which is estimated as January of 2025, but it gave us a plot synopsis and a very interesting casting. Now, we've been wondering since Marvel picked up this show, how it connects to the old series. Marvel's been playing their cards super close to the test, and it's unclear right now whether this old series are canon or not, or as part of the multiverse. It seems to me this is somewhat of a soft reboot, but based on the synopsis, I think Marvel is still leaving the door open to go either way. Now, in that copyright office release, we got a breakdown of the synopsis, and it reads... Marvel Studios presents Daredevil, in which longtime rivals Matt Murdock and Wilson Fisk try to leave behind their darker alter egos to serve the people of New York only to have their past catch up to them. In the first episode of the series, we are reintroduced to the world of Daredevil. Now, the summary is pretty interesting because it seems to confirm that these two characters have had a long history as Daredevil and the Kingpin. Meaning, I think Marvel really is going to kind of soft reboot the original series, mostly leaning on the relationship status of that show, but maybe not the specific events. In any case, it's clear these guys already have a long history, and exactly what brought them to this point in time is still kind of up in the air. It seems to me, if I was guessing, that Charlie Cox's Daredevil character probably got snapped by Thanos, and inversely, Wilson Fisk, played by Vincent D'Onofrio, was left behind and kind of given some breathing room to sort of rebuild his empire and ultimately exit the prison system. Now, none of this has been confirmed so far, but based on this synopsis, it does give us a little bit of a clue on where the Netflix show fits in, and obviously it's going to carry some, if not a ton of weight. Now, the other big casting was surrounding Ben Urich. As many of you know, Ben Urich was a big part of the Daredevil series, but ultimately by the end of the show, he was murdered by the Kingpin. Now, the character was brought to life beautifully in the original series, but it now it seems for the new series, we've got a new version of the character, or maybe actually his daughter. Now, what's being reported is Daniel Walton will play, quote, B.B. Yurik. So it does seem the legacy of Ben Yurik is going to carry forward, and once again, this is a clue about what happened in the original show and how important it might actually be to the new show. I honestly don't think this is a race and gender swap version of Ben Yurik. Ben in the original show was well into his 50s, meaning he was well past the age of having grown adult children that could assume this kind of role, and after having her father murdered, you can totally see how BB could be pursuing the same path as her father and looking to take down somebody like the Kingpin. Now, copyright information is far from an official announcement, but it is submitted directly from Marvel Studios, and it has pulled back the curtain on a couple of Marvel projects, including Freshman Year, which we talked about yesterday, links down below. So I think this is probably some solid insight into the show, and we now seem to have some confirmation that several elements from the old show are indeed moving forward. How much of a soft reboot it is, well, we're going to have to wait and see.